Have you ever dug a hole in the ground and wondered how far you could go? Maybe you could dig so far that you could reach the other side. Obviously there are so many things stopping you from doing this, including burning to death in the inner core's whopping temperature of over 5,000 degrees Celsius, and the implausibility of the whole idea. Also, as you may have learned from geography, a lot of the Earth's inner parts are molten or liquid, which means that the Earth has different densities. Digging through it will be nearly impossible. Not to mention your parents will be wondering where you've been, and the authorities will be asking themselves whether they had intended on making a 12,756 kilometer long link from Ireland to the South Pacific Ocean. But for argument's sake, let's pretend that the Earth is completely solid. So you've fallen into a hole going through the center of the Earth. What happens now? A common myth is that you'd be crushed by gravity at the Earth's center, or that you'd fall right through the tunnel and into outer space. Well, we being the budding scientists that we are, wanted to find out what would actually happen if we fell through a theoretical hole that went through the Earth. So say if you didn't jump through our hole, but instead just dropped into it at a starting speed of zero kilometers an hour, you'd keep on increasing in speed until you reach the Earth's core, when you'd begin decreasing in speed until you reach the other side, at which point you'd be back at a speed, a speed of zero kilometers an hour again. This is because the force of gravity gets stronger as you get closer to the Earth's core, and seeing as the more gravity you have affecting you, the faster you will fall, the increase in speed is simultaneous to the increase in gravity. However, when you get to the Earth's center, there are strong gravitational forces affecting you from all directions. All of these forces cancel each other out and you end up with a gravitational force of zero newtons affecting you. You are weightless. At this stage, are you going to be crushed by gravity? Thankfully, science tells us otherwise. You also wouldn't be trapped in the Earth's core forever, which would happen if not for your tremendously fast speed of about 7,900 meters per second. Instead, your speed allows you to defy gravity and fall through the Earth, slowly decreasing in speed until you end up at zero kilometers per hour at the other end. This process will take about 42 minutes and 12 seconds. And now that you're at the other end, it's very unlikely that you will be able to hold on to something within a split second. And you're under a lot of pressure from gravity that's pulling you back down into the deep, dark abyss. You probably will fall back down through the hole, and the process repeats itself again and again and again. Have fun! So I suppose this is all not that bad, but you must remember that we haven't taken air resistance into account, because after we do this, your journey will end up looking something like this. Yep, you'll be trapped in the Earth's core forever. You have a lot of climbing to do.